Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. And this is the kind of game college football fans love, because they don't have to wait for the weekend for this Conference USA showdown. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of my week, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks taking on the Kennesaw State Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The give. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. All right. Well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. From the gun, wants to pass. Throwing right. Holds it in. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. If I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback and disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. On the Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Igloo! Igloo! He'll run it again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Now facing a third and long. Cricket. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Really nice third down sub defense there.
Okay. Here we go. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws to the tight end. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. This guy's gotten off to a good statistical start, guys, but that last completion is already now over 1,000 passing yards on the season, and, man, you know he's looking for more. It's first and ten for this offense from the 42. Cobra. They'll go to the ground. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. A nice game to pick up the first down. We've got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Here we go. There you go. The give to the back. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. And you want to run the football. But that's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Much on first down, it's second and nine. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Line getting set on second down. How 55 weak. Motion from the offense. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He breaks a tackle. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. All right, so not a home run play for the offense, but I do like the creativity, and I like how they're going to stress this defense and do it in less conventional ways.
Now on third down after that run. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Offenses that are great on third downs, what do they do most of the time? They keep it in manageable situations where they're not predictable, not just dropping back to pass. They do it here on third and short. They convert. This offense has been so efficient on third downs all throughout this season. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Moves. To the ground with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40 yard gains later. They really wear down defenses and they test their physicality. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Jackrabbit. Off play action. Fires to the middle. Makes the catch. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll give it to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll keep it on the ground. Getting that push. A pickup of four out to the 26. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Got his man downfield. He wasn't far from taking it to the house, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. Guys, Jacksonville State has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Crosses the 30, he's got away. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. 
One perfect execution on that big one. Everything perfectly blocked, and this guy doesn't need a lot of room. I love how this offensive line communicates and works up front. You see guys winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. There's double teams happening. Guys are getting into the second level and creating big lanes for this running back. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. The give on the inside. They get him stopped after a two-yard game. Ball is at the 17. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off and really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Come on, set. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Can't get him to the ground. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Got it. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Let's go! They'll try to run for it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, the runner just has to... The back goes in motion. They'll leave it with him. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Runs well, first down, and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Ready, Solid break. pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. the play fake. He's going to fire deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. And that's why this guy's a complete run back. He's good between the tackles. He can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field, and he can run the route tree. That kind of play will send a surge of energy through your offense. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 40. Quick handoff. 
And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Ready up. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. They knock him down at the 21. It's a pickup of five yards on the play and enough for a first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Wide receiver shows motion. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. 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 Offense. offense. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. First down here for the offense. Cricket. Out of the gun, looking to throw. Immediately fires to the middle. And they swarm him under. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Leaves it with the running back. Got enough space. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Owls. This guy just has a nose for the end zone. And you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. The give to the tailback. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. Keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. Are you ready? 
Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third short, third medium, third long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Here we go. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of delay, game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock, didn't get the snap off quickly enough. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. 29 Philly. 29 Philly. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. On the set. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. The give to the right. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And they're going to play it safe. Conservative approach here, but they'll take the knee and head to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Kennesaw. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. Give to the single back. 
stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll try the run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Fires and picked off. Bringing it back. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Really nice drive by this offense. This is a top 10 defense. This is a challenge. They're going to make everything difficult. So when you can make some plays against this defense, you got to absolutely take advantage, create some momentum for your squad. Nice drive by this offense. Handoff to the single running back. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Moves. They feed him again. And with that, the chain gang will get busy. First down, Kennesaw State. And it's those little chunks keep annoying the crud out of you. They're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that. Put you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, we got to stop the run. Ready, it's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. The gift to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. While the linebacker's showing you read and react, he knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. And they've got him looking run now to pass. Wide open downfield. Can anyone catch him? And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets him 30 plus. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in.
They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. Wide out in motion. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay, delay, delay. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you can get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. Let's go! Slams ahead. And the defense sold out to stop the run, and they do here on first down. I think one of the keys to this defense's success all season has been how good they've been stopping the run. They're a top 10 unit when it comes to rushing defense, and it's helped them out this year down in the red zone. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. 3.25. Pushes ahead. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Let's see if this offense can answer the bell. Their coaches challenged them all week long. When they got down to the red zone, we've got to be able to run the football because we're going up against a top 10 rushing defense. Let's see if they can step up here and get it done. Hey. After getting absolutely nowhere on second down, they'll try it again on third and goal. trying to power it in. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. All right, you've now tried running the ball down here a couple times. It hasn't worked. What are you going to do on fourth down? Are you settling for a field goal? Or you've got to play in your back pocket to go get you six? Fourth and goal from the three, and the offense will stay Easy. out there and try to finish the deal. Trying to power it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, man, that stinks. If you're a defense, you get all the way to a fourth down situation and held him so many times, and... Man, they punch it in late, especially with the physicality. I hate when I get beat with physicality. And they pounded them, ran the football with all the big guys in the game, and got the touchdown. Double. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Oh, the freshman lucky that one didn't get picked off. That's one thing about this defense. They've got some dudes in the back end that can cover, and they can hang with some of these intended targets. Nice job swatting that one away. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Get set, get set. Go. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Right on target this time. Out across the 30 mark, down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. Love the accuracy on that curl throw by the quarterback, putting it right in the numbers, right in the bread basket of his wide receiver. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Kent. He stopped at the 48. A pickup of 10 on the play. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. Ready, this set. Kennesaw State offense is on the move. The run from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively getting downhill and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Here we go. Power football with the run. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Give him 88 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. They're getting this guy lathered up. Running with power. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to listen. O-line, can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy right next to me? I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. They got to do a better job. Got it. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. 
catch in the middle. It's Kent. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Got a man. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Running back searching for a hole. And with that, the chain gang will get busy. First down, Kennesaw State. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. A first down run in the red zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. As a quarterback, you've got to know in this area of the field, it's tough to throw, right? The windows, they open and close so quickly when you get down to the red zone. What helps you is running the football, but that's tough today because you're going up against one of the top 25 defenses stopping the run. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. With jet sweep pass. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. From the gun, wants to pass. You don't give a hoot! Kennesaw State does! Touchdown, Owls! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. He's looking to throw. Incomplete on the two-point try. They tried to push this lead out to a field goal. They'll have to settle.
They're going to throw it to start the drive. Got rid of it in a hurry, but he couldn't find his man. It's incomplete. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot, right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass breakup, but, man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fella and get the six. Get the pick six. The lone back's got it. Tackle was made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but has held really strong, put up some good numbers. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Moves. Leaves it with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small game, but some information you gathered maybe for the next time you get to run an RPO. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He's been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Spire. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the right. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. He wants to throw here on second down. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. The offense has plenty of time, and this defense trying to dig in and get one more stop and hang on to this lead. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the pass, it's picked off! And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you got to score, you got to make big plays but you can't turn the football over. Big time mistake. This one might cost him.
He'll start this drive firing. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. And you've created some great momentum. Getting the stop, forcing the punt, now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in a groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. You just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. They'll go back to the air on second down. A strike downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. How nice is it for the quarterback knowing he's got a tight end that can get down the field vertically on the corner route. You know if you just put it anywhere near this guy with his long arms, he's going to pluck the football. He did it right there. Looking to go up top on first down. It's complete. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. What a massive play by this offense. Man, you needed it. Great execution. Now kick the extra point, tie this football game up late, or do you go for two? Do you go for the win? Do you try to take the lead? That is a huge decision. Guys, this is a really good win for this ball club as they put together consecutive victories. And in this season, that's what you got to do. You got to put together good weeks, build on each other, build that momentum, continue to grow as the season goes on. Yeah, David, it's all about building confidence. And it's really important for these players to go out, work hard in practice, and see that hard work really pay itself off on game day. This is a team that's really starting to believe in itself. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.